Hello and welcome to ConsoleTraining.com's video on Layout View in MA2. Uh, my name is Alex Hughes and I'll be taking you through a rather simplistic setup of Layout View on MA2. Today we'll be using MA2 on PC version 2.83 and uh, let's jump into it. So I'm going to bind everything that we're going to do essentially on page 2 or screen 2. So here we've got our normal palette set up. We've got a couple of 700s, some Sharpies, and some Robins. And, uh... I don't have the desk, so I have to manually use the buttons. So, um... Inserting layout view is fairly easy to do. Um, there is a little bit of a trick to it. Um, and that is, before you can actually start using the layout view, you need to create a layout pool. So just as we create normal pools, we go layout, and we go layout pool, and then we select all the fixtures we want to be in that layout pool, and we click store, just as we would to any normal preset, and then we just create that layout. And then we simply call that layout whatever we want. We're going to call it stage. So if you've got a couple, if you've got maybe front of house and you know a couple of layout, different layout views you want to cycle through, this is how you define them. So once you've done that, you select it, you turn it on, and then you can remove that window permanently. Now, then we go into other, and we click on layout view, and here's our layout view, and here are all our fixtures. To move them around, uh, we drop into setup and then we can select we can select the groups just like this and then we can rotate them using our pan tilt wheels. So if we grab our group here, which is our first eight, I haven't given them a fixture numbers, we can do that like this and move them around. So so you can do it with the wheels if you've got a desk um, or you're in um, in command mode. You can see we can use the wheels. We actually might do that. We'll uh, we'll add it here just so it's easier to demonstrate. So we can move it along using the wheels like so. Position them. So these are my 700s that we're moving here. And obviously your 700s aren't always going to look like that. So what we can do is we can arrange them and we can put them in a line and then we define the start and the end and then we can just drag out what we want for them. So we'll select these. Don't know why it didn't actually come across. Ah, because I was in an setup view. Line and we can drag them out and then it shows the positions where they're going to be. So we'll drag them out like this. We'll click apply and then we'll go back. That's much easier with the desk because you can cycle through what you need to do much easier. is rather extreme spacing I've gone with. I might actually bring that back a bit. So we'll utilize the X and we'll just bring these in a little. Y, we go out of element properties. We bring them across. And then what we can do is we can bring those groups that we've created in. So bringing things into your layout view is incredibly simple. We just assign them. So we grab our, all our 700s and we click Assign, and then we click anywhere in the layout view, and it brings it in, or it should bring it in. All 
Ah, there it is. Yeah, I must must have clicked it before. So there we have our our all grip, and we can go into size, and we can position it a bit better, and make it so we can actually read it. We can also change the style it looks like, uh, the text color. So you can select. Go back to the default for a sec, which is two fifty five. We can select to have a different border color or something a bit more nice and then we can select the groups and you can do that with any preset so you can bring in your um your position presets your color presets and basically it's a fantastic way during a show when you've got a proper view up like this of being able to see firstly what your fixtures are doing Um, and what color they are, and also even if you've got them up close, what gobo they're in. So you can do that by. Select them, select, selecting them while you're in setup mode, and you can change the style it is. So we'll zoom in on this one. And we'll change, and we can show. There it is. And we can see what GoBo it's running. So that's really fantastic. If you've got a really large rig, and you, you want to visually see what all your fixtures are doing. So that's layout view. It's fairly simple. Um, most people just get caught up on how to bring them into a layout view. You can also set if you've got a couple of different uh, layouts you can define here whether you want them to just be whatever you select or whether you want it to stay the same. So if you've got a large console you can have as many layout pools as you want. Uh, hopefully that answers your questions. I know it's a short video, but it's really something you need to play with and experiment with a bit more. Um, but it is it is fantastic, especially the positioning features. Like as you can see, what I've just done is I've put all those fixtures into a perfect circle. That's fantastic for truss circles. Uh, so hopefully it's another option. I've actually found myself in shows starting to move away from using all the group pellets and stuff and going to just the layout view and just pulling groups off that because it's a much more visual way of programming and it makes it a lot easier rather than going through every fixture and going next, 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 next. You can just do it like that. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to email us via our website. Uh, and do check out our website at consoletraining.com and uh, like our Facebook group, which is facebook.com slash consoletraining. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for listening.